Hi, how are we doing? <laughs> Gary here from Mr. G Shave. Um, today I'm going back to the Mac 3 um, just to give it another blast. It's a fairly new blade, I think this will be the second or third use, I'm not sure which. Um, hardware wise, I'm uh, using my usual head shaving brush which is the Yaki Bear or Yaki Beetlejuice and that's the 28mm brush. Cold shave today, I'm using cold water not hot um, and it will be tomorrow as well so sorry if the lights are flickering there's something wrong with one of my lights I think but new batteries and all of that because I think if you remember last time the uh, the batteries ran out so right I'm using the Gleiss glycerine soap no real scent to this so basic soap scent I wouldn't say it's got I mean it's supposed to have a, a, a citron scent or a zesty scent or whatever a lemon um, I can't identify that at all, so there's no real scent to this. Um, but it does the job. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Probably pear soap would probably be equally as good. Um, there are plenty of other glycerin based soaps out there that uh, one could use. Let's just get some cold water. In my little shaving bowl. And today I'm using, in terms of the shaving soap, it's Razor Rock Miguel de, hang on. Miguel de France, so that's it there, um, and it's been used, when I bought it, or I didn't buy it, my daughter bought it in Pasteur's, it was only that full, I have used it once before, wasn't massively impressed with it, but I'm going to give it another go, it's got a, I can smell citrus in there if you like, uh, what's it say? Sheer butter, just having a look. Doesn't really give you any indication as to the scent notes to it. It's a Savon Barbe artisanal, artisanal shaving soap. It, it's, it's got a good enough smell, uh, but I'm really not sure what's in it. Um, it, I'll, I'll put this, I'll put a picture up now, um, or I'll tell you what, I'll just show you the ingredients so you can pause it there and have a look. But yeah, I've already put it in my bowl ready to lather using my Giles Shaving Co. bowl again. Um, so I'm going to lather that up and I'll be right back. Wag, wag. Oops. Hi. Apologies. I uh, somehow have managed to delete um, the shave part of the video. Um, I went to edit and add all the clips together and the actual shave wasn't there. I think I just got mixed up and pushed stop record instead of record. Um, so yeah apologies for that but um, as you've already seen the first section um, of the products that I was using and now uh, you will now see the the end the last section of the video where I finish up my shave uh, so yeah apologies for that we all make mistakes and um, I feel like an idiot <laughs> so but I'll post this and, and uh, I hope you enjoy and have a laugh on my uh, my account Bye now. Hi, 
I'm back. Um, just to show you that after that three, pretty much a three pass shave, lovely shave BBS, that Mac 3 is a, is a great razor and is potentially easier to use than the Leaf. But then that comes at a cost. You will pay a lot more for the blades. But it, it's, it's every man, you know, the, it's your mileage may vary. It's whatever you find works best for you, sh you should use that. But I just wanted to show you how much lather is still left in that bowl. I'm so tempted to just put some cling film on it and save it for the shave, the face shave tomorrow because there's easily three shaves left in this. I put way too much soap in. There's still some soap on the bottom. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but let's just try. Oops. So you might be able to see the soap that's still there on the bottom. Um, so there's plenty there for a, another three pass shave. Um, I might actually try it. I, <laughs> I might actually give it a go and, and actually cling film this bowl and leave it for tomorrow. Um, I've not done that before, but it's worth an experiment, I suppose, to see if it can be done. You know, what the soap will be like. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Watch the next video. I may, it may be another rerun of the Razor Rock soap. The soap, scent-wise, is for me kind of meh. You know, it's, it's, it's okay. It, it's pleasant enough. No, you know, there's scent strength two or three. There's citrus in it. There's woody scents in it. I'm not sure what's, what the ingredients are uh, or what the, the scent profile of this is supposed to be. Very difficult to describe. But in terms of slickness and in performance, fantastic. No problem at all. So if you like the subtle scents, this might be a soap for you. Um, I, I may keep this in the den for use off camera, but I probably won't use it on camera again. Um, and, you know, I hope I don't offend my daughter because she bought it for me the first time she went out to New York. But she's not to know, you know. She's not to know. Um, and I think this was recommended by somebody in the shop in Pasteur's as being quite a popular one. If it's popular, you know, great. If somebody really likes this, you know, or if it, maybe I'll, I'll use it as a giveaway product um, when I get to maybe 250 subscribers, I think I'll do my first giveaway at 250 subscribers. If not, it'll be at 500. I think that was my original plan was to do it at 500, but I found something I, I don't mind giving away. Um, so yeah, so let's get on with the post shave. So I'm just going to wet the head a bit. So, how's it going with the COVID-19 issue in your area? I'd love to know, you know, like in the States, because I know I've, I, we hear quite a bit about the States and the different states having different levels of spread. Um, some have got next to no spread and others have got really quite dramatic spread. Um, I don't know whether you use this R number that we use in the UK. So the R number identifies, well, or basically is a measure that we use for how many people are infected per person infected. So if the R is one, then only one person is being infected by each infected person. If, it, if the R number is two, then each person that's infected will infect two more. And if it's R3 as it was right at the beginning of the, uh, uh, of the outbreak here in the UK, then for every one person infected, three further people would be infected. Um, and that, as you can imagine, just explodes. Um, as a group as a as an image um, So I'm just letting that do there's no sting by the way none at all um, I don't think I've cut myself I would have felt that with the with the uh, alum, so I'm just going to wash that off Oh, 
it's nice having a cold shave on a hot day. Today's not as hot as yesterday, but I would say it's up there in the top 20s. And it's not as humid as it was yesterday, so. So, Humphreys. Good old Humphreys. I quite like this, it's not bad. I, I, don't, I don't know whether it's as good as Thayer's, but I haven't got a bottle of cucumber Thayer's to compare it to, so I wouldn't know. Um, maybe those that use it in the States have, have, that have tried the Humphreys Cucumber and Melon versus the Thayer's, I'd like to know what you think. I, I, I rather suspect that the Thayer's will be better. But, who knows? Aftershave, Brute, and I have got another bottle upstairs. Chris from IMCDB made a comment when he last saw me use this. You know, uh, there may be trouble ahead. Um, I've, I have got another bottle upstairs. I've got a glass bottle this time. Um, so yeah. Bit of a sting here, but not. No more than if you used it, even if you haven't shaved, sort of thing, you, you would get a, a bit of a sting. Um, nevertheless, nice. And then the final part for me is Bulldog. Um, Bulldog Original Moisturiser. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. Only that much. Um, and that will finish. I won't need to use the Nivea after this. This is quite a thick cream. Um, and it will leave me with a, the feel that I, I like. So yeah, that's, that's my shave done today. Um, watch out for tomorrow's shave. It might be interesting tomorrow. Um, a, I'll be testing out the testing out this experiment with the cling filming the lather to see if it works if it doesn't it's no big deal I'll, uh, I'll have a backup of a different soap down here um, but yeah it's supposed to be quite wet and stormy tomorrow in terms of we might be getting some thunder so uh, it might be quite atmospheric I'm going to try and time my shave to a thunderstorm but there's no guarantee we're going to get one. We are guaranteed to get rain, but we're not guaranteed to uh, to get the thunder and lightning. So, but I'll try and time it for that. So that's me for today. Um, so it's bye bye from me and bye bye from the Mac Three. Uh, great razor. You know, if if that is what you enjoy using, stick with it. You don't have to go over to DE or the Leaf Razor. But it, I, I, it's me personally, I love dicky shaving. I prefer it to using the cartridge razors um, for multiple reasons, which maybe I'll go into in the next video. Bye bye for now.